Hi guys, this is Hailey. Today I'm going to show you this smudging proof makeup while wearing a mask. Ever since I started over wearing a mask, I've been getting a lot of pimples and my skin is so sensitized and irritated so it is so tricky to apply makeup nowadays. And I could clearly see that my skin get worse when I put more makeup or put more products on my face. Because all the sweat, oil, bacteria and heat are trapped in the mask and it will eventually make like a perfect warm environment for breakout. To avoid those situations and do a really fresh makeup, less is more approach is the best way. And when we try to put more products to prevent from smudging, it will eventually cause more irritation and in the long term it is not that really good way and I think this is a perfect time to go to foundation free I tried it one way and I found that there just way just made my skin so dry and so uncomfortable but instead today I'm going to show you a makeup look that makes your skin really comfortable and last really really long while wearing a mask and if you guys want to see how I achieve this look please keep on watching First and foremost, I'm gonna start off with a bit of moisturizer. You can use any type of moisturizer you use. It is very important to prep your skin with a moisturizer as we are going to use some primer, a powder, and setting spray. And also don't forget to wear our sunscreen even though we are wearing a mask. I also put a bit of thick lip balm to prep my lips as well. I'm going to use a makeup primer to prep my face. There are normally two different types of primer, silicone-based primer and water-based primer. Silicone primers are more likely suiting up pores, wrinkles, and just make your skin like a soft canvas. If a primer has ingredients that end in con, silicate, mesicon, silicone, or siloxane, that means that primer is silicone-based primer. Water-based primer are more likely hydrating, so it is more ideal for someone who has dry skin. But it doesn't bring that dramatic result compared to silicone-based one. If you want to go for oil-free primer, I would like to recommend this product. It is oil-free primer, and if you are someone who has acne-prone skin, you want to choose something like without oil. It contains titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which are physical UV filter. By that mean, it leaves white cast. I think it is better to apply on the center of your face, like to kind of highlight. For today, I'm choosing silicone based primer from Sephora, and I found this is a really good to apply all over my face and not dry on my skin. And also, it holds my base maker longer. For base makeup, I'm going to use a long lasting concealer. Even though I like to use natural coverage type of products to stay makeup in place, long lasting products actually work better. I found this concealer has a really good coverage, but it doesn't look too cakey, but still pretty matte, so it can be a little bit dry. So I'm going to use a really thin layer of it to make it look more natural. Using a concealer brush, I'm going to spread the products on the back of my hand first and apply on the area I want to cover. To blend the thin, I'm going to use a damp sponge and also I'm going to spray a setting spray on the sponge and gently dab it on. This will help the area you apply concealer set really well without making it cracked. I have some pimples I want to cover and to just focus on the area I want to cover, I'm going to use a small brush. And then I'm not going to blend it right away, but going to leave it for a few seconds to set and get more coverage. After a few seconds, I'm going to blend the edges to make it more natural. To set the area more, I'm using a setting powder. For today, I'm using pressed powder over loose one because pressed one has more density. By that mean, it's really set on your skin well and does not move around on your mask. Using a buffing brush, I'm going to apply on those areas, I just apply concealer. Now I'm moving on to blush, and for blush, I'm going to use a liquid one. Liquid blush tends to have lightweight texture and finish, so it will not smudge at all once you set on your skin. It is better to apply a little before you use 
a powder and when you're done with concealer or foundation for today i'm using more like neutral pink blush and blend that in this product is also buildable so i put one more layer to get more coverage Before moving on to eye makeup, I'm using an eyeshadow primer. And then I'm going to shade my lids with this bronzer. This is gonna be base for my eye makeup. These shades look very natural on my skin tone, so I'm going to apply all over my lids as well as along my lower lash lines. For today's eye makeup, I'm going to create soft pink eye makeup look using this pinkish eyeshadow palette. I'm starting off with this mid-tone pink shade and going to pat it onto a bit top of my eyelid line. And then I'm going to draw eyeliners with this deep brown shade. To make everything blend in soft, I'm going to blend them all together. For eyelashes, I'm going to do my typical lash routine which I uploaded a few weeks ago. And then I'm going to draw eyeliner with this brown pencil eyeliner. As my natural eye color is brown, so when I use a brown eyeliner, it looks very natural and soft. So I choose to use brown today. I tighten my first and then going to create a small wing eyeliner. And I smudge it with an angle brush to make it more natural. And then I put some mascara on. When I test this look, I did work out with wearing this the same look. And after working out two hours, even though I sweat a lot, and my eyeliner and mascara were still there, which was so surprised before moving on to brows i'm going to apply a powder first to prep my brows this is something i always do when i want my brow makeup really last long and get just a good color payoff after brushing them with a spoolie i'm going to fill in my brows with this ash brown eyeshadow to get more natural look i'm done with my brows as well as my eye makeup and then i'm moving on to bronzer I normally apply a bronzer along the out of my face but this time I'm just focusing on my forehead and connect a little bit with my cheekbones because cheek area is where mask contacts the most. And then I'm going to set everything with powder. With the powder I used previously, I'm going to powder my face. This time I'm going to use a powder puff to apply the product. But if you put too much powder, it will look so unnatural. So I'm going to put a powder into the puff first and then fold it in half. This will prevent you from applying too much powder to your face. And then lightly press on all over your face, but mainly focus on where I put base makeup products. Before applying a lipstick, I'm going to remove some lip balm left with a Q-tip. For lipstick, I'm choosing a stain liquid lipstick because it'll be so much better if it's like stain and liquid as just set on your lips really long and never smudge. This formula feels tacky in the first place but dries after a few seconds. It can be a little bit hard to control when you apply along your lip lines so what i recommend is using a lip brush this will not only help you to adjust the amount you use but also make you to follow your lip lines easily i'm going to apply all over my lips and after defining my lip lines i'm going to add more coverage next i'm taking a piece of tissue paper and use it to blot the excess lip color this could be enough to get that matte and smudging proof lip makeup but to make sure, I'm going to put a bit of powder on the top of it with using a powder brush. And you can see that nothing left on the brush. To finish on my makeup, I'm going to use a setting spray. This is a key product in today's makeup as it makes everything stay in and holds. 
In setting spray, the ingredient called polymer is a key ingredient and it forms a film on the top of the makeup and hold in place. Hold your setting spray 1 to 2 feet away from your face and spray it from forehead to chin. Do not dab your face but just leave it to dry and set. So this is how to do smudging proof makeup while wearing a mask. I hope you guys find this video helpful and I can guarantee that this will make your skin really comfortable and also helps your makeup last really long while wearing a mask. I hope you guys find this video very helpful and please share this video with your friends who are struggling to do a makeup while wearing a mask. And please wear a mask not only for yourself but for others. Thank you for watching and I will see you the next one.